We're here on dinner break of day two of the Almighty Sack in the 2017 Winter Poker Open with Chris Limo, who has been here once or twice before and is top 10 in chips with 70 left with 4.1 million. Chris, did it go so far today as you expected? Pretty much went the way the Almighty has been going for me <laughs> the last two years. So it's been, a, it's been good, running good, playing good like always. Um, so it's been a good day so far. Have there any? Have there been any major hands that allowed you to chip up to that point, or are you just doing it gradually? Today, no. I started with a million. You know, I won a couple of small, small all ins, went up to two, and then just been pre flop. Most of the hands I've taken down. You know, with the blinds being so high now, every pot is a few hundred thousand. So I haven't played any big pots. I'm trying to stay away from playing big, big pots against certain players. But you know, I have a good table draw. You know, I have position on a few of the guys that. You know, are probably better than me and more experienced than me. But, you know, with my play, you know, I think I'll be fine when playing against them now. Yeah, and you have Andy Spears on your direct right, who is more of an active player and has a stack relatively similar to yours, a little bit smaller. Does Andy opening a lot of pots change how you might play, hands that you might open, rather than you three-betting him and things of that nature? You know what? Ever since I got to the table, Andy hasn't been as aggressive as I thought he would be. I'm thinking the reason why, because he knows I'm aggressive. So he doesn't want to, you know lose you know 150 every time and now with the blinds being so high he knows i'm gonna three bet him you know I'm, I'm, I'm gonna battle for my you know chips i'm not gonna just let him you know just walk right through me but he's been awfully uh, quiet believe it or not and uh so it's been a pretty comfortable table you know and at this stage of the tournament the blinds are starting to get higher and it's we're probably going to end with the, at least three tables left before the night's over What's important for you as play winds down that you've learned through your uh, two almighty stack final tables? The most important thing that works for me right now is my reputation. So right now I just sit back and just try to wait for hands because I'm going to get paid. You know, with my reputation, people just f somehow find a way to pay me off. So I'm, I'm going to let the game come to me now. A lot of short stacks. You know, I'll pick my spots. I have, a, I have a, like I said, I have a great table. Um, they're not aggressive. I've come out raising a few hands, and I haven't been three better yet. You know, but like I said, I'm just going to sit back and wait for the games to come to me now. In the past, I try to win a tournament, you know, as soon as I can. I try to win every pot, but, you know, from experience, you know, being here in the last two, three years, you know, I've learned a lot, and I'm still learning. So that's the plan, you know, sit back and hope to get lucky. Well, the lessons have certainly worked out for you so far, and we'll see if you can make it to your third Almighty Stack final table. Thank you again for your time, Chris, and good luck. You'll see me on the final table. Calling your shot? Calling the shot.